Hey, yo, what's up, everyone? It's your boy, Crisp Purpose, back at it again with another Gems of War Explore 12 team. Okay, so I have always wanted to use an Explore 12 team with this particular troop right here, which is the Deep King. Now, this troop is from the Sea of Sorrows uh, faction, which is associated to the Merlantis Kingdom. The Deep King has for his spell, Watery Ambush. Deal 57 true splash damage to two random enemies, submerge myself and a random ally. And for his trades, he actually has deep vitality. He gains nine life uh, when attacking delves, along with bloodlust, become enraged when enemy dies, and jaws. All merfolk allies uh, gain three attack on four or five gem matches. Now, so as to be the backup on this team, I have right there the hero using the curse breaker weapon of the curse breaker javelin. Now, this weapon deals uh, 60 true damage to two random enemies, plus four per tempering level. Then it blesses all yellow allies and curses all yellow enemies. For the class here, I'm actually using the assassin hero class for uh, its final trait, which is assassinate, a 10% chance to assassinate the last enemy when I deal skull damage. Along with that, I actually have these talents set of hunt, chill of death, um, shadow's call, Icy Veil, of course, for my Deep King and my other support troop. Along with that, I actually have Rising Shadow set for the final trait of a 7% chance to assassinate the last enemy when another enemy dies. My main support troop is going to be the Emperor. We all know the Emperor's spell. It is Draw the Emperor. Give 27 to all skills on the first ally. There is a 7% chance of an extra turn for each blue gem on the board. And of course, it has for its final trait, uh, Good Terror, which is grant a random status effect to a random ally when an ally casts a spell. Thrall is going to be here at the bottom, of course, for my main mana generator. And yeah, for the banner, I am actually using the banner from the City of Thieves. The Knight Banner, plus two purple, plus one blue, minus yellow banner. You can switch it around for whatever banner you prefer. And yeah, that is the team. Let's hop right into battle number one and see how this works out. Now let's check. Of course, the main thing we need to focus on is getting purple uh, to our thrall. And the board is proving to be uncooperative in this instance. Let's go ahead and match that down. And there we, there's purple right there. Now let's see if we can cast this. Now we need to cast our Emperor. Throw all again. Now Emperor again. And now let's try and kill him out. Back again with our Deep King. And we lost our hero. So we should be fine. Deep King. There we go. Lucky coincidence. <laughs> They took out a hero, but yeah, we still won the battle. Let's hop into battle number two. Now let's match this over. Got purple real quick. Got next turn for Thrall. And we got both the Emperor and the Deep King powered up. Uh, deep. Let's cast the Emperor again. Now the Deep King. Just like that. Now let's cast the weapon. Very nice. Got a kill. Thrall again. Now let's see if we can kill him out. Almost did. There you go. Very nice. I like the fact that the, the Deep King actually has that uh, bloodlust. Because, you know, if the enemies are on this marked and we hit them with skulls, they're going to die from that bloodlust. Because I am enraged. All right, so let's check the board here. Let's match that over right there. Let's see if we can get some mana to our thrall. There we go. And our Emperor is powered up. Let's cast him. Now let's cast thrall. Emperor again. Let's see if we can match this up right there. Very nice. And uh, let's check the board. Uh, let's cast our Deep King. They are secured two kills. Very nice. Now let's see if we can kill off the last two. Very good. Yeah. Now we're on to the battle number four. Oh, that's pretty nice. We're going pretty quickly. All right, let's match this over. We're going to get Skull hit possibly. No, not, not at all. Got our Emperor up. There we go. Thrall again. Nice. Uh, let's cast the Emperor. Now our Deep King. Nice. Secure two kills. And as I said, splash damage, true splash damage is extremely powerful. Just like that. 
Nice. Let's go ahead into the mini boss fight. Let's see how this one works out. Now, if you guys are liking these videos, as I said before, in many other videos, come on and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are not subscribed as yet. And yeah, let's cast our thrall. Got our emperor powered up. Got an extra turn. Very nice. Now cast our emperor. Let's see if we can cast our emperor again. Right, let's match that over first. There we go. Got an extra turn. And where is the mana so I can get my thrall ready for the next cast? All right, let's cast the deep king. Very good. All right, let's match that over right there. Got thrall powered up. Very good. Now let's see if we can cast that curse breaker weapon. Oh, he hit the right enemies. Now let's power him up and let's kill him. One hit. And if you want, you can cast your Emperor as many times as you would prefer before casting your Deep King. It's up to you. But for me, I tend to cast him twice and then I start casting the Deep King to kill them out. I don't want the enemies um, to be around too long, taking up too much time, you know, drawing out the time for the Explore 12 battle. All right, let's cast our Thrall again. Got Emperor powered up. Now Thrall. Now the Emperor, and now, let's see if we can get some mana ready for a Thrall. No, we can't. Let's cast the Deep King. Good. Now let's cast our Curse Breaker weapon. Didn't secure a kill, but I'm sure the other cast we will do so. Let's match that over. Got Thrall ready. Very nice. Now let's cast our, our Deep King. Very good. And there we got some good gem cascades. Troops are ready. There you go. That is the team, guys. Let's see what's inside this boss chest. Make it something good. And Arania, I'll take it. You know, I'll still work with that. But yeah, that is the team, guys. Let's go back over it again. Of course, we have the Deep King up front, dealing a good amount of true uh, splash damage to two random enemies. Um, the Curse Breaker weapon, of course. You can switch this around for whatever your true damage weapon you prefer. But I like this because it's doing the similar uh, thing uh, in comparison to the Deep King. Especially if you have it tempered all the way up, this is going to hit really hard alongside the Deep King. Of course, I have the Emperor here, of course, with his Draw the Emperor spell, and my Thrall is right there for man generation. All right, guys, so if you found this informative, you like it, definitely hit that like button. Comment, of course, to let me know what you guys think about the team and about the Deep King or any other aspects of this team or any other videos that I've posted before. And yeah, if you're not subscribed as yet, hit that subscribe button. All right, guys. Catch you in the next one. Peace.